So we're back with another fix it video. And today we are in our garage standing next to our hybrid water heater, which is a performance platinum ream. And this unit is um, just over a year old. And uh, this unit is throwing an air code and shutting down the um, heat pump. And I believe the error code is A005. It's a discharge temperature. And we've already contacted Ream. We called them at the number that's posted on the side of the water heater. And they put the, they had us put the unit into diagnostic mode and trouble shot and determined, they determined that three of the thermistors would have to be replaced um, as a starting point for trying to resolve the issues this unit's having. So they went ahead and shipped those out. They came pretty fast. And today we're going to be pulling the top off the unit and getting at those thermistors to um, remove and replace them and hopefully get this unit back up and running. And so let's go ahead and get started. So we've already thrown the breaker. And so the power is off. And in order to pull this off, we believe it's four Phillips head screws. Um, and so they're going to be PH2s. And they're located around the circumference of the top. And uh, we're not going to disconnect the electrical because it's my understanding that once we get the top off, we'll just be able to sweep this around. So um, I'm going to go ahead and position. It's a little um, tight up here and a little awkward, but I'm going to go ahead and position it to take these screws out. I'm going to pull the, the vent out just to make sure that I don't do anything with that. And I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to go ahead and get started. After removing the four screws around the circumference of the top, I also had to remove six screws from the top. So there's two on my right hand side or side opposite the control panel, and then one single and another single to the right of the control panel, and then two right next to the electrical power cords. And once I remove all those, uh, the top will come off. So the electrical cords are still plugged in. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to need both hands, I'm going to rotate this around to the side and not disconnect it, but just kind of angle it and let it hang off and make sure that those um, wires don't touch the top of the circumference of the water heater because this top edge right here is probably really, really sharp. These are the three thermistors that they gave us to replace the non-ambient thermistors. And so... <clears throat> I've I've already gone in and tried to look for the three thermistors that we're going to have to replace in this unit. So this one's the ambient one. And what I was doing is I was just searching for the, the white connectors. And I was tracing them to see if they went to a thermistor or not. And so um, I've taken a picture so that I know what connects to what. So that when I actually disconnect, in case I get um, overzealous and do multiples at a time. Um, what connects to what but there's there's two thermistors down here and then there is one thermistor over on this side and I'll I'll take a global again uh, to remind myself um, so on mine the control module is over here to the my left with the power right adjacent to it and so on the far opposite side there are two thermistors um, down at the bottom and then um, kind of at a almost a 90 degree clock to the to the control board or sorry the display there is a uh, the third thermistor that needs to be replaced so I went ahead and pulled up the first thermistor and that's the one that's uh, on the, the farthest side opposite the display panel and you can see that it's got some gunk on it I had to cut a tie wrap and then it kind of just slid off um, and then uh, the connector was pretty simple I just uh, pushed like uh, right there and it slid right out so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this and uh, move forward so I've gone ahead and pulled that second thermistor out and that was the one that was pretty much straight down from where my pinky finger is 
and you can see in a comparison they look exactly the same and uh, there's the clip that goes onto the um, metal tubing or the copper tubing and the thermistor just kind of um, sits right in there wedges so you just got to unwedge it So I'll uh, give an example of how I'm reinstalling these. Uh, this is the easiest one to video. So there's a metal clip that hugs that copper, as I've mentioned. And so you just basically get down in there, right where you took it off from, and just push the clip over the copper, and it hugs it right back. And then there's this gunk tape that uh, was on top of it, so I'll just kind of pull that back around. And then close up the insulation. Uh, I will go back later and put those tie wraps back. I cut two so far. And then uh, let's see, the yellow ran to the thermistor here, and the gray ran to the thermistor that uh, the white clip is down in the bottom right there. And I'll just go ahead and reconnect that back up. So I went ahead and clipped those in and uh, reinstalled a tie wrap. And uh, we're off to number three thermistor to replace. So that's the third thermistor. I'm going to try to slide that off just by using feel. Feels like it's rotating around. No, it's off. It's this connector is just stuck on that goopy tape stuff. Let's see if I can work it off. Pull it out. I don't want to damage anything, of course. There's that goopy stuff. And there's that last thermistor. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that out, uh, disconnect it and get it replaced. Let's see if I could show how easy it is to disconnect these. Um, I'm sure it'll be difficult on this one, no doubt. Especially one-handed. But uh, There it goes. Alright, so the final third thermistor has been removed and replaced and uh, put another tie wrap on there to try to make it back to OEM spec or at least OEM installation standard and so all three have been replaced so at this point we're gonna put the top back on uh, screw it down So uh, the water heater is all back together. Um, the three thermistors were replaced. Uh, the uh, unit's power was turned back on and I set it back up for hybrid mode. Uh, now it's just a wait and see game to see if the thermistors were indeed the problem or if something worse was the problem, say like uh, a low charge of the coolant system. Um, all in all this job, I would say it was probably about a, like a three out of a 10 uh, to do um, if you, if you're thinking about doing it and you haven't done something like this, I wouldn't be too intimidated. The only thing I really was careful with is um, the metal on the evaporator. I, I really took care not to mess any of that up because I wouldn't either, well, God forbid, puncture it, um, but I also wouldn't want to damage it at all because that could reduce the efficiency of the unit. Um, uh, nothing really else to note. Uh, maybe the job took 15 minutes uh, with the camera it adds a little bit of time so I would say 15 minutes or less uh, if you have say an automatic drill and you kind of just follow the instructions uh, that are provided or that you saw in the video um, as always good luck